what up? It's Ty 1822 here to review and pet wrestling. So and pet wrestling starts off with Robert Rude. Now Robert Rude gonna have a match against MVP Falls Count Anywhere. Now MVP didn't come out. He was backstage and Kurt Angle was talking to him. He let a Kurt Angle know I cannot compete because of my knee. So Robert Rude didn't care. So he went after uh MVP. He was fighting through the stand. So then it got in the ring. This was a silent match right here. It served its purpose. Even though MVP is not 100% healthy, I give him credit for doing this match. Robert Rude put MVP in this horrible looking sharpshooter. This was worse than the Miz uh, figure for Layla. But Bobby Rude ends up getting the victory in this match. Jeff Hardy comes out and Jeff Hardy was talking about how Kurt Angle wanted Jeff Hardy back. He didn't want Willow and the crowd wanted Jeff Hardy back. But he did say, you know, Willow is going for now, but this is not the end of Willow. So then he started talking about, you know, uh, TNA and, you know, how to have a good tag team division. And he mentioned somebody that who was his tag team partner. They've been through a lot of battles as a tag team winning multi-tag team titles. So he called out his big brother, Matt Hardy. Matt Hardy makes his return to TNA. And Matt Hardy talked about how New York City is a great wrestling crowd. They are excited to be back in New York City. So Matt Hardy talked about how a couple years ago, you know, through his bad times, how he felt everybody, he felt himself, but now he's a lot better than he was a couple years ago when he had new demons. So then uh, Matt Hardy talking about, you know what, it will be very cool that the Hardy Boys will be tag team champions one more time. So the Wolves came out, Davy Richards and Eddie Edwards. So Eddie Edwards was saying that, you know what, to prove we the best tag team, we got to beat the best tag team. So then uh, Davey got a microphone and said, you know what? It's not about talking. I just want to fight. So at Destination X, it will be the Wolves versus Matt and Jeff Hardy. I can't wait to see this tag team match right here. This should be some, sorry. This should be some really good tag team wrestling right here. I want to see that match so bad. The Bromance, Jesse Goddard, DJ Zima, and Robbie E. May's return. And, you know, Robbie E. was talking about how, you know, Jesse got, like, a body that nobody in New York City has. Uh, they were saying, you know, now Robbie E. is no longer scared of clowns. Then DJ Z got on the microphone saying how, you know, he's the best in exhibition. He's king of New York. So fans, of course, boo his ass. So he said he could beat anybody. And it was the return of Loki to TNA. Loki came out and squashed DJ Z. I always been a huge fan of this guy when he was in I mean, sorry, he's in WWE. You know, I was a fan of him. I was a fan of him early days in TNA. I mean, he's so aggressive in the ring, those stiff ass kicks, man. One of my favorite activist wrestlers from TNA. Uh, what's this right here? Oh yeah, tag team match. Madness and Brand versus um Mr. Anderson and Gunner. This was a short match right here. Bram and Magnus gets the victory. Then after the match, Bram and Magnus started beating down both guys. And Samuel Shaw, you know, he's trying to stop him, but they decide to beat him down also. So then Abyss cleared the ring. Kurt Angle and Austin Aries. So, you know, now it's time for Austin Aries to make his decision to turn in his x Championship for a shot at Bobby Lashley World Heavyweight title at 10 and 8 Destination X. So, you know, MVP was telling um, Austin Aries he had Lashley with him that, you know, it's staying your lane, man. You know, Bobby Lashley, he's a world champion. Do your thing as an activist wrestler. And Aries let MVP know, I held the TNA world title, unlike you. I am, I am better than you, MVP. Even though you are her, I am still better than you. And this was some good stuff right here. He's telling Bobby Lashley, you know what, Lashley? Yeah, you are a bigger guy, but I don't fear you because you're a bigger man. There's a lot of guys I defeated, and I can also defeat you. And Lash said a couple words. And, you know, of course, Austin Aries made his decision. So, for the TNA World Heavyweight title at Destination X, Austin Aries versus Bobby Lashley, this will be a good match right here. Tyron Terrell versus Gail come for the TNA Knockouts title. This is their third match. They had two really good given matches. And this is a one-on-one -on -one match. But the match didn't last long because you had... Velvet Sky, Angie loved the beautiful people to interfere, so it was the squalification. But I'm glad this happened because I want them to say Tyron Terrell and Gail come down the line because these girls had two excellent matches long ago. 
The Great Muda came out because, you know, uh, Sonata ended up losing last week. So then Robbie E came out, interrupted on the microphone. Uh, then they had a match. The Great Muda squashes Robbie E. So then James Thor came out and said, oh, this is the legendary Great Muda. So he would say how he's a legend in TNA. And so, you know, Storm went to, you know, attack uh, the Great Moodle. So then Sonata came out to make the save. So then Rude got out of the ring. Sonata turns on the Great Moodle, hits him with a chair, and another guy came in the ring. Sonata decided to beat him down, spit the mist in his face. And now Sonata and James Storm are working together, and they were celebrating together. This was a really good hill turn right here. And this will build up something at Bound for Glory in Japan. Good stuff right here. Now, they was uh, showing, uh, you know, Dixie Carter uh, with KMO, you know, early through the night. And then they was talking to JB, and she was mocking Tommy Dream, how, you know, how Tommy Dream is nothing no more, how KMO, her protection and everything. So uh, this was the main event right here. Team 3D, Bully Ray and Diva versus EC3, Rockstar Spud and Rhino. 3 on 2, hardcore match. This was... A uh, good hardcore match right here. You had an ECW chance going on. Um, then you get some people interfering in this match. Gene Snitsky, of course, former WWE superstar, and Ezekiel Jackson. And Taz's like, oh, that's that Zeke guy. Big Zeke, I know him. Where he from again? Of course, he didn't mention where he was from. Good job. They should have mentioned where he came from. Is it really a good job he didn't mention it? I don't know. I don't know why I said that. So they got involved, and uh, you know, one of them attacked Tommy Dreamer. So EC3 finished on Tommy Dreamer with finish move right on the chair. So then they celebrated. Then they all continued to beat down everybody. So Dixie Carter tops them tonight. Because Gene Snitsky and Zeke Jackson helped out everybody. This was a good way to get heat, you know, on Team Dixie. That's not the actual name, but I just gave gave them a name. So you know, it's like Impact. There was a lot of talking. And not that much matches, but the talking, the segments, they were good. A good mixture of segments and wrestling. So this was better than last week's show. So TNA, keep on improving. I've been liking the product the last couple weeks. So don't forget, hit the subscribe button. I'm out. Peace.